Hello shape enthusiasts and welcome back to another episode in our blueprint design and compacting series. In this episode we're going to be working on pinning and what the hell is pinning. So we have these shapes I think by milestone 7 or 8 you unlock this process called pinning. Let's extract the shape and see how that all works. So with a belt of shapes you can put it through this device it's called a pin pusher. Let's see what happens when we put a shape through a pin pusher. You can see it gets smaller, but if you look at it from a 3D perspective, or maybe I should open up the shape, you can see now underneath it has a layer of pins. And you can ask, why might you want to do that? Well, first of all, some of your milestone shapes going forward, I believe by milestone this one, it doesn't tell me which one that is, but it, it actually gets you to make pin shapes. But the purpose of pins is actually to be able to make shapes that would otherwise be impossible. Let me demonstrate real quick. If we cut this circle in half and we get two half circles that are not on the same sort of section. So this one's on the left half, this one's on the right half. What would happen if you stack these? Well, as you can imagine, you get your full circle back. But what happens if you pin push one of these shapes? What if you didn't want a full circle? What if you wanted one of these layers to be higher than the other? That's where the pin pusher comes in. If you chuck a pin pusher on one of these and I put a bin on the other side, you can see now when they get stacked, they no longer get stacked as a singular layer. If I can catch one of these shapes, I can show you. See, now that the top layer, when it falls down with the pins, it gets propped up and over that shape. So it'll make, let you make shapes that are otherwise impossible to make uh, without the pin pusher. There's some other cool little features of the pin pusher, such as uh, if we just keep pin pushing uh, the shape up and up, it will eventually disappear and all you're gonna be left with is a layer of pins. So I'll get back a bit. So this one, since, since a shape can only be four layers, like this, one, two, three, four, we'll go into layer view. So you can see that it can only be four layers. So what happens if you then pin push this again? It'll delete the top layer and leave you with a layer of just pins. What a cool little thing that is, right? And then you can do really crazy stuff like stack this back on top of itself and then get some really wacky shapes. So if we put the circle on the bottom and the pins above it, I think this is all in the tutorial as well, guys, but just in case you haven't seen this and this is the first time you're seeing it, yeah, you can make shapes like that look like this. But we do need to create ourselves a modular design for this pin pushing process that can take a fully saturated space belt, push it through and output a fully saturated belt of pinned up shapes. It's all relatively simple, so this will be a nice and short video. As you can see, the pin pusher is a very simple machine with one input, one output. The form factor is tiny. It's all on one level. It's all very straightforward. It will look very much like our destroyer, uh, and it is three buildings for per full belt. So we can, uh, in fact, copy our destroyer build exactly. I believe that gives you 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's right. We'll destroy this half, and then we'll just route all of this in exactly the same way we did in our destroyer video. If you haven't checked out the other video, in the blueprint redesign series there will be a playlist in the description uh, you can check it out there or through my channel that's it that's basically the pin pushing design uh, not much to talk about guys not much to talk about we get those out just like that nice and easy copy that design and we'll flip it and we'll put it onto the other side uh, do we like to cut belts or do we not like to cut belts? I know I'm a little bit inconsistent with my belt cutting, but you know what? Let's cut this belt. Uh, just to distinguish it from our cutter, that way I can very easily see. Like if we go to our blueprint design series, I did make this not cutting two to one, but I did make the uh, quarter destroyer and the half destroyer, and it looks like that. That way I can just I just know that the quarter destroyer and half destroyer is like a full looking sword, and then this one is kind of like a cut one. That way I can very easily see it from the top view. Uh, that's just my justification for not being consistent, but take for what you will. That's very easy. We duplicate that up three layers because we never use the second layout to do anything. Uh, we test it with a bin and we're good to go. Five minute episode, guys. Five minute episode. And just like that, we are done. It looks like a fully saturated belt of pinned up shapes. And check it out. You can use this modularly, as I showed you with multiple pin pushes. You can just put multiple of these in a row uh, and then you can get your final crazy shape out. I have to let one go through. So it goes through one, pin pushes, goes through a second one, pin pushes again, eventually goes through the third one, pin pushes again, goes through another one. It's getting there, guys. It's getting there. These two are going. Then it goes through that one, and then that top layer just popped off, as you can see. And now you've got your full. 
crazy shape. But yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, there'll be new videos coming very soon. We're going to do crystallizing next. So if you like this video, don't forget to like and sub, and you won't miss out on any future videos I make on the Blueprint series. Yay. All right. I'll see you next episode, guys. Thanks for watching.